I'm here with Neil Anderson and he will talk about his life as a Cisco certified instructor and how he became a Udemy or online IT instructor as well. So you're one of the popular instructor, IT instructor in the world, and you started from something, right? As a Cisco certified instructor, this way back in 2007. Way back. This yeah. is when I was your student. Yeah. All right. So tell us about it. How did you start uh, from a Cisco certified trainer who traveled the world doing live classroom environment yeah. and become a Udemy? instructor and become a YouTuber as well. Okay. So well, from being the classroom instructor to yeah. doing it online, that was about five years ago now. 2017. Around about there, mm -hmm. yeah, maybe 2016. And I was home in the holiday season around Christmas. You know, there was not a lot of classroom training happening then because everybody was on the holidays. Right? And I wanted to learn something myself. I can't even remember what it was. I think maybe some I wanted to do some Linux training. So and I just, you were still a Cisco certified instructor traveling the world, yeah. delivering live classroom. Yeah. Okay. And there, there was something I wanted to learn myself. So I thought, while I'm at home over the holidays, not busy with work, I'll, I'll learn a new skill myself. So I I looked for it online, and that's where I stumbled onto Udemy. So I, I did the course on there, and then while I was on there, I started thinking, oh, I'm interested if there's Cisco courses on here as well. So I had a look at those, and I saw the other classes. The, the guys at the time that were the top ranked in Udemy yeah. were who are they? Uh, Chris Bryan Chris Bryan, yeah. and Lance Diaz. Lance Diaz! Yeah. yeah. So I, I had a look at their training. And David Bomba wasn't there yet. I don't know, he wasn't there yet, okay. or he wasn't, the, I remember that the top two ranks, the first two ranks mm -hmm. did, if you search for CGNA, were Chris Bryan and Lance Diaz. So nice. I, I had a look at, and I thought, see how they, they, they deliver the training, how the training works, and it was actually quite similar to the classroom training, yeah, other than, it delivered in the same way, but to camera rather than to a live class of students, and because I was doing that full time and I've been doing it for several years, I thought, oh, this is something that I would be able to do as well. So I, but I didn't actually start off with a Cisco course because there were already several Cisco courses. There's already there. available. Yes. So I thought, well, if there wasn't any NetApp training really online at oh, all. Oh, yeah, because you are also time. NetApp instructor. Yeah, also NetApp instructor. I was teaching a few different things, some idea and cloud stuff as well. So I thought, okay, I'll, I'll put a, a NetApp course on there and just see what happens. Right. So what happened? Well, it it did okay. Yeah, you know, it, it, it brought in some extra money for me, which is always a nice thing. It was also a new experience for me, so that made it kind of fun because it was new. And then, so when I did that, I didn't really have any intention of, having a website or a YouTube channel or anything at all. I just thought, I'll put this on, on Udemy and see how it goes. Then, after I, I did that, the way that the Udemy model works is that if somebody finds the course on Udemy itself, so if they type in the name inside the Udemy search bar, or if they find it through a Google search, again, that would hit probably a Udemy ad, then Udemy would keep half the money from the sale and the other half would go to the instructor, which was actually really good. The, the model that Udemy have got is fair. I'd actually... That was before. It's different now. Well, no, I mean, it, it's, it's a bit more complicated because of their the way they do their ad spend. If it comes through an ad or through an affiliate sale, it is you do get less than 50%. But it's really, the, their model is fair. I, when I say that, comparing it to what happened with my book, like if you're ever an author, yeah. uh, the amount of like the revenue share you get is, is a lot less than 
percent. It's I can't remember even what it was exactly, but it, it was very low. So when I oh, saw this, is when you author a CCI voice, I I yeah I had a CCI voice for book from but yeah a long long right right I, I yeah. know that I yeah. Know yeah. That. I, I, I had other offers as well, but four books, which I turned down just because it, it wasn't worth the amount of hours I would put into it for like the, the return I would get from it. So I, that, I was very happy with, I thought Udemy's model was fair, so I thought I'd give it a go. And then, so the other thing with your model is that if the sale comes through you, so if, if a student uses a coupon, which they'll get typically from the instructor's website or, or social yeah. media, it's 95%. 95. Yes, so that's, of course, a big incentive for you then to do this. So that's why I then started the website and started all the social media channels. Yeah. So that's Udemy. Before yeah. Udemy, you were a CISCO certified instructor doing a live classroom environment traveling the world. Do you miss it? No. Really. Why is that? Because a lot of people want to travel the world. Yeah. And we were doing it for free with a lot of perks. Yeah, it did Hotels, have a lot of perks. Uh, miles. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Then you meet a lot of people. So yeah. why do you miss it? Because I can still travel now. So oh, I, yeah. when, I, when I travel right. now, I don't have to show up for work at 9 o'clock in the morning. All right, so you're traveling for fun now. Well, I'm in the business right now. It's a, a little business and a holiday as well. And I, yeah, I can still travel now. And it, not on a set schedule. And when I'm traveling, I it, it's not. I don't have to wake up in the morning, put some business clothes on, show up for work. I can wake up when I feel like it. So that's, uh, that's nice. How about the interaction with your students? Of course, it's really different. In a classroom, classroom live environment, you interact with a lot of people. And yeah. I became a lot of friends, a lot of IT professionals around the world yeah. because of this lifestyle. You travel, Australia, US, uh, Europe as well. I met a lot of friends. And sometimes they recommend my training, my, my uh, IT services to many companies. But actually, it was an advantage. Right before you do the Udemy thing, was did you find it very advantageous? For word of mouth from classroom students, yeah. Um, it, it with online the scale there is much much bigger. So in a classroom you've got maybe twelve students there. It's quite a busy class. Well, the difference between twelve people spending word of mouth. And 10,000 people online is massive. Huge so, difference. Yeah, huge difference. So people hear about me online a lot easier than somebody you know, face-to-face physically. Yeah, and people share also your training courses. Uh, and there are many uh, sources like Reddit, LinkedIn, and some blogs. I yeah. see your name a lot in Reddit and uh CCNA blogs, how do they pass CCNA, uh, what courses they recommend for yeah. CCNA materials. Yeah. Doesn't this, how does it feel? Um, I love it when a student passes a CCNA. I love it when a student gets a job from having a certification. Um, yeah, that's actually one of the best things about what I do. you are helping people. Yeah. And build their career and yeah. uh, build future. Yeah, it's a, it's a great feeling when I receive a message from a student saying that I helped them with their career. Yeah, it um, of course it makes you feel like you're doing something worthwhile with your life yeah. and you're helping people. Right? And you're inspiring yeah. people as well. Yeah. I'm actually like at home, I've got the first thank you email that I ever got. I've got it framed up on my wall. Decide where I work so to remind me about what I'm doing. 